so warm too. We've got our jackets off, haven't we? Beautiful. Stuart Law in the long sleeves. And run straight away for Stuart Law in this outfield has picked up very quickly. Yesterday it was a touch slow. Today, with the sunshine, and that one raced across the park to the boundary. Looking for the straight drive. Nice play placement there from Stuart Law. We saw Jimmy Ma score a lot of runs yesterday playing straight. And our oh, beautiful running between the wickets there. Law turning what seemed an easy two into quite an easy three in the end, and that is good running. Lovely shot. Off the back foot. Hit that with a lot of power. Might just have enough in it. No, it's going to be picked up there by Davison. Just closes in on it. Just a couple of metres from the boundary. Stuart Law picking up three runs. Creeping closer to a century. Never been a century made on this ground in first class cricket. Shield cricket, rather. Books. And it is all the way to the fence, and Stuart Law works his way to 99. He might be looking to Jimmy Ma for any advice. Jimmy stranded on 99 against WA in the opening game. It's a good shot to, to get there. He probably wants another short one to bring the 100 up. Stuart Clark going around the wicket. A bit of variety, fair enough. But just not enough bounce in that wicket. He'd probably like two back for the hook, just to keep a bit of pressure on him. Law dropped on 99. Unbelievable. In the covers, it was a very tough chance. It was a tough chance. I think they actually swung away from, away from Stuart Clark. And Corey Richards had to die for it. They are the toughest catches when you have to, to get forward to a good piece of bowling. It skewed away. And um, I'm not sure on that replay whether it actually quite got there. It just dropped in front, but... But nevertheless, when you come forward to the ball, very tough to catch indeed. Off the pads, he gets it on this occasion past square leg. In fact, it may get all the way to the fence and pulls up just. And Stuart Law has now posted a very good century here. His 17th Sheffield Shield century of his career. He salutes his teammates in the pavilion in the small crowd. They've seen a very good knock. And a small crowd giving a very good round of applause too. So it should. Bread and butter for Stuart Law. Just through square leg. So after the pressure that was built up, finally Scott Topton lets him off with a pretty easy couple of runs. Oh, great shot by Law. Quickly into position and whipped away through mid-wicket. Absolutely class shot. Now that is the shot of your better player. Not a particularly bad ball, just short of a length, middle stump. The batsman does rely on the bounce being consistent though. You don't want that one to keep low. You might find yourself uh, being hitting the pads a bit low down, but yeah, that, that's just a quality shot, isn't it? Oh, in the position quickly, over the top, and it sizzles into the fence. Well, in the air, but he picked out the shortest fieldsman <laughs> out there, Rod Davison. Just goes over his head. It's a good shot. It's a very good shot. Into position early. Hits it hard. And just out of the reach of the smallish Rod Davison. Nathan Bracken there catches it about head height, but it was going. And a bit of pace on it. In the air, didn't quite get it as well as he would have liked. Just for a brief instant, they thought there was a chance there. In fact, plenty of run on that side of the ground. And had enough carry at the end to beat the fieldsman out there for four runs. He called that quite correctly. I don't think he got hold of that as well as he would have liked, but the end result was the same. Seemed to only hit it with half the bat. Goes for the big one down the ground. Hits that one well. That's a good start by Stuart Law, taking it up to the part-time spinner. Clearly beaten with that second delivery, but the intentions might be pretty clear here from Queensland. 
Well, we've heard three interesting deliveries since the lunch break. One was almost a wide, the next a possible stopping chance, and now Stuart Laws hit Rummins down the ground in the air, not all that wide a mid off. But perhaps this signals the start of an onslaught from Queensland. Law coming down the ground in the air again. That should find the cover boundary. Just the three men in the covers, and there's a sweeper out there, deep point. But just a little too square to cut that one off. But Stuart Law hitting a few in the air, and this time going through the covers. Well in the air, but very well struck. And I think this does signal that Queensland are after some quick runs. Law also yeah. going for the big one, straight down the ground. That's beat the fieldsman down there, and that's four runs. 150 for Stuart Law. And since the lunch break, he's been very aggressive indeed. Swinging through the line. A bad bounce there for the fieldsman at mid off, but I think Phil Emery might just uh, spread them out a bit more. The way Stuart Law has been attacking since lunch. Goes again through mid wicket. Made that into a full toss, and that should be another boundary. So that should be 25 runs in around about what 12 minutes Jeff 10 minutes <laughs> well you don't have to spread the field out that's just a full toss on leg stump and Stuart Law picks the gap between mid on and the wide mid wicket just delightfully Queensland out here really into one day mode picking up all their quick singles and taking a, a lot of risks to score Lovely pull shot, just too short. And a classic batting wicket like this, you've got to put a little bit more into it. Young Bracken there just found out that you don't bowl bounces like that to a batsman with 167 on the board. If you're not with an oldish ball on this deck, uh, that's just a lovely shot from Stuart Lord. Right in behind it, hits it square off the left hander. Well, at least you need two back. If you're going to bowl a bouncer on this wicket, you better put two back for it. Go. The little sweep shot should pick up a couple at least for this. May even be three, and I think Foley will probably come back for the three. And that's the 200 for Stuart Law. Well run by Jeff Foley. And a very good shot by Stuart Law. A delicate sweep to bring up his 200. Stuart Law acknowledges his teammates, and there they are. A splendid double century from a very, very talented cricketer. 20 boundaries in that. Good strike rate. 71 runs per 100 balls. That, that's a, that's a one-day strike rate, really, isn't it? In the air, the short come in. I don't think he quite picked it up. In fact, he got to it and ended up putting it down. But certainly unsighted early on. Didn't pick it up. And once again, no luck out there for the bowler. Well, this is in the air for a long time. Phelps is the man out there. Well, he got to it uh, as he was falling. And Stuart Clark must be really cursing his luck now. Stuart Law's got the 200, and he will play a lot of shots from now on, I suggest. And Phelps slow off the mid-off fence. And a lovely sweep shot. Picks that up beautifully. Once again, a shout of catch. But it was four runs. in the air but I think Steve Davis the umpires but the only one had a chance of catching that and 170 this partnership now between Foley and Law so the big one again picks it up nicely works it away through that mid wicket area and four runs More frustration for Stuart Clark. A good old fashioned heave from Stuart Law, very effective. It's, it's all experience, isn't it, playing against good players? And unfortunately for Stuart Clark, he had Greg Blewett in full flight last week. Now he's got uh, Stuart Law. Oh, he goes for the big one here. This is in the air and should be out. It is out caught by Sainsbury out in the deep so that's a just reward for Friedman he's had to work hard for that 
So the end of a terrific innings by Stuart Law. Going for the big outfield hit. Fabulous innings from Stuart Law, the first man to make 100. And as we see, Sainz retake a, a pretty straightforward outfield catch. Dave Freeman finally rewarded. After not having a great deal of luck. And there goes Stuart Law, 216. Queensland, 5 for 490. 